Hi everybody, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect Plant-Based Extreme Weight Loss with the 12th and final episode of How to Take Off 100 Pounds or More. You know the number 12 symbolizes completeness. There are 12 months in a year. There were 12 apostles and I feel like 12 is the right number of episodes for this series and I have to say that this has got to be the most important one of all. Without it, none of the other tools that I've given you will work for very long. And that is why I want to share my favorite quote with you, and that is, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is the only thing that can truly transform you. Whether you follow what Paul said in Romans, or you believe in affirmations, or the power of positive thinking, or the power of the law of attraction, everybody agrees on this particular subject. In order to change something, in order to make a lasting change, the only thing that you can do is change your mind. If you think about it, everything that is in physical form right now, like my phone or this pen, my fun pen here, everything that is in physical form was once a thought. And so the only way to change things is to change how you think. So I want to ask you, are you still thinking like a fat person? Are you still hanging on to limiting beliefs long after they serve you? You know, a lot of times the things we do that seem crazy, we did them at the time because they were the right thing for us. But years later, circumstances change and we're still doing the same crazy things. I'm going to give you some thoughts that you might have some limiting beliefs and I want you to really think about whether you hold these beliefs and how you can change them. The first belief that I want to challenge is I have to get this weight off quickly. The truth is the quicker you go the harder it is on your body physically, the harder it is on your mind because you don't have a chance to get used to being the new size and you don't have a chance to hardwire those habits you know your brain works best through repetition and it makes those patterns and you, to hardwire something you have to do it over and over for a really long time your positive changes like eating plant-based and exercising and eating unprocessed you have to do it until they become your new normal the result is unfortunately the faster we take it off many times the faster we will see it again and it will bring friends so get over that there is some time frame that you have to do this you know what if you were fat yesterday you're gonna be fat tomorrow but one day with perseverance and with consistency and with following these tools I gave you and by most importantly absolutely believing you are worth it and allowing yourself to change that limiting belief one day you won't be fat one day you will be where you want to be and you just have to have faith and there is no race this is a marathon, not a sprint. And the winners are the ones that stick with it. So hang in there and quit trying to hurry it along. Just do what you can do and be happy with the journey. It's, it's a process. Um, hardwire those habits so that this is truly a new life. This is not some funky diet that you're trying this is really the new normal. This is how you're going to live now. Alright, the next limiting belief that I want you to challenge is this one. If I blow it, I need to react in some way. Think about that. 
How are the different ways that we blow it when we go off our plan? How are the different ways that we react? Well, how about, I need to feel really guilty. I, I need to be, you know, brought to task or can go online and confess my sins. I need to punish myself by eating nothing the next day and exercising for hours and hours on end. Or conversely, I've already blown it, so I might as well eat this and this and this, and I give myself permission to eat any crap I want, and that is punishing yourself also because of the horrible reaction my body's going to have when it has to process all this poison and toxins that I'm dumping into it. If you think that going off your plan and going into a manic panic is not a way of punishing yourself, you really need to think about that. So I want you to think about it. If you blow it, if you go off your plan, and guess what? It's not if you blow it, everybody blows it. Honestly, I'm a pretty consistent person. I just do the same thing every single day and I can think of a couple times I've blown it just since the beginning of the year and what what I do is what I suggest you do nothing don't do a darn thing try not to react to it just ignore the wobble it's just a wobble just ignore the wobble and get right back on the plan and make your next bite healthy Make the very next thing you eat be a healthy thing to eat. And if you don't have anything healthy in the house or you don't have anything healthy around you, don't eat anything until you can get some healthy food. And that is how you're going to learn to trust yourself again. That is how you're going to be able to say, that's no big deal. I got this. I have a lifestyle, I don't have some kind of funky diet, and there is no blowing it. There's just trying a little harder to eat more fresh, more unprocessed, more raw food, less junk, less sad food, more plant-based, every single day. There is no, there is no blowing it. It's just get back on track and try hard again, okay? If you eat your face off, or if you waste mental energy feeling bad, or you go into the manic panic, you know, and just decide all bets are off, you will make it worse. You absolutely will make it worse. Any of those things will make it worse. The only thing you can do is just carry on like it didn't even happen. Okay, the next limiting belief that I want to address is really important and it's really painful for all of us that have a hundred pounds to lose or more I know that you have had this thought because I have had this thought I'm a disgusting fat pig and I have to lose weight to be acceptable I'm not lovable I'm not worthy listen to me because this is the most important thing I have said in this whole series ever on my whole YouTube channel, ever in my whole life. And I beg you right now, please listen. You are worthy of love right now, this minute, no matter what you weigh, no matter what you eat, no matter how much you exercise, that you do or you don't do, your value cannot be calculated by the pounds on the scale or the centimeters or inches on the measuring tape. No matter what society tells you, no matter what your crappy ex-boyfriend told you, no matter what your mother told you, no matter what the bullies at school shouted at you, or even anyone else in your life, you are worthy. You are lovable. You are valuable. Heck, you are a friggin' miracle. There will never be another person like you ever in the universe. 
and the world needs the exact gifts you possess. And no one else in the whole universe is ever going to be qualified or capable to do what you can do and give what you can give. And if you don't get healthy and if you don't stick around and love yourself enough to share your gifts, the world will suffer for it. And you will suffer for it. And the people who love you will suffer for it. So eat your greens because you are worth it. Take a walk because you deserve it. Invest in your health at the grocery store or the farmer's market because, my beautiful friend, it is a worthy investment. Invest your time now and it will pay off in extra years of pain-free life. It will pay off in hugs and smiles and tears of laughter and every else, everything else in life that is good. Love yourself. Love yourself and accept yourself right now just as you are, warts and all. No one is perfect. Perfect is a myth. Perfect is Photoshop and Spanx and hair dye and fake boobs and plastic surgery. Perfect is a lie. We are all beautifully, wonderfully, amazingly imperfect. And that is absolutely wonderful. Look into a mirror. Look into your own beautiful eyes. Look deep into your own beautiful soul. And tell that magnificent creature that you love her because she deserves it. I'm challenging you, my friend. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let go of all those thoughts that no longer to serve you anymore. Let them go. Shed those and you can shed the pounds. It's as simple as that. And that, my dear one, is how you take off a hundred pounds or more. Blessings on your journey. I love you. I wish every good thing for you. And I can't wait to see what you can do when you let your light truly shine. And when you really, truly love yourself. Bless you.